Hey guys, this video isn't going to be very heavily edited um, and it's very ad lib just to let you guys know, just to warn you. Um, but we need to talk about the Halo reboot because I swear to God, what few brain cells my Tarkov addiction have left me with are very, very quickly jumping out the window hearing about this Halo reboot. So what the hell am I on about? Where's this coming from? What are we talking about today? Well, Ryan McCaffrey, who if you don't know, is a big IGN guy, big reviewer, I've been with IGN for like decades now, and also knows quite a lot of people on the inside in the game industry, said this on Twitter, I think I'm uploading this video today, so this morning. Just a gut feeling here, but given the senior staff departures and layoffs suffered at 343 since Infinite has been released, and the fair to argue take that Infinite has not had the lasting impact that a Halo game should slash needs to, I think the next mainline Halo game is going to be a reboot. That would mean recasting the voice actors and pressing the reset button on the entire storyline. Note that I'm not necessarily rooting for this, I'd miss Steve Downs and Jen Taylor dearly, but I expect Xbox leadership will feel the best path forward for Halo is a full reboot. Oh God, that is grim. <coughs> oh Christ. And even, not even slightly as grim as the concept of fully rebooting Halo. And then on top of Ryan's tweet, Chris Regan, good friend of mine, quote tweeted it saying, I believe that this is true. Now, why am I making such a big deal about just two people on Twitter saying that Halo might get a reboot for its next main game? Well, I'm making a big deal about it because both Chris and Ryan in particular, they know a lot of people on the inside in the game industry, and they likely know about a lot of stuff that's coming well before it gets announced or even gets spoken about publicly. So having both of them say this and be kind of teasing it a little bit makes me very worried that the higher ups at 343 and Xbox actually do think that a reboot for Halo is the best way forward, given that you know, 343's tenure with a franchise, whatever you think of their games, hasn't exactly been the most successful tenure uh, with a beloved IP. So, when we're talking about reboot, this is a hard, hard reboot. And you're probably thinking, well, Infinite was a reboot, and that was, that was fine in terms of story. Well, let me explain the difference. So, Infinite was what was called a soft reboot. So, basically, it kind of detaches from the story that the previous game told and goes in a bit of a different direction in the same universe, using the same existing characters and topics and settings and locations and that kind of stuff. It just kind of chooses to start a new story without finishing the previous one because the previous story wasn't exactly well liked. A hard reboot is, um... Well, allow my friend Francis to uh, show you what a hard reboot would mean. Know your fucking place, trash. Yep, that was not hyperbole. I'm not kidding when I say that a full reboot would literally mean scrapping everything. Every single bit of lore, story, narrative, every character, every setting, every location, every narrative arc, literally everything that has existed in Halo up until this point would be thrown in the trash. That means Yes, this is gonna hurt your heart, but stick with me here. Halo 2 story. The human that killed the prophet of regret. Who was it? Who do you think? The demon is here? <laughs> Why? Looking for a little payback? Retrieving the icon is my only concern. <laughs> of course. Not canon, in the trash. Halo 3 story, trash. Halo Reach's story, trash. The Didact, the Gravemind, Mendic and Bias, the Primordial, Offensive Bias, Chief, Arbiter, Johnson, Cortana, Captain Keys, I, Artas Vadum, I could keep going forever. You think of a single piece of Halo narrative from the past 20 or so years that you really like? You think about that right now, I want you to pitch that in your head, right? That little bit of narrative would be in the trash. Know your fucking place, trash. If Xbox leadership think that the brakes need to be put on Halo's main games and main story for a little bit, well, do some spin-offs. Halo fans have been asking for more spin-offs for god knows how long. Arbiter spin-offs, Flood Horror games, a new ODST game, a Marine game, Realism, Halo Wars 3. There's a billion different options. Spin-offs are the way to go if you think that Halo's main story and the kind of main concept of Halo needs a break. Not completely resetting the entire thing and starting from scratch again. We're very much in the age of video game reboots at the moment, and I personally 
can't stand it because every time a game gets rebooted, it tries to retell the original story that the original games from God knows how long ago told, but it ends up bastardizing it in some way. It ends up almost feeling like an uncanny valley version of the original story. The most recent and most popular example of this is Call of Duty with the Modern Warfare trilogy. So Modern Warfare 2019, Modern Warfare 2, the fake version that came out last year, and Modern Warfare 3 that's coming out this year, are all full reboots of the Modern Warfare trilogy. And if you've played their stories, you'll know that they kind of use the same story beats as COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3, but they tell them in a bit of a different way because they can't just copy the original games one-to-one, -one, otherwise, what's the point? And what happens with that is you get things like Shepard's Betrayal in the new Modern Warfare 2 lacking any and all of the weight and gravity and substance that the version of that betrayal had in 2009's Modern Warfare 2. That scene in classic Modern Warfare 2 where Shepard shoots Ghost and then you and betrays you was such a shock. It was so surprising. It just happened out of nowhere and all of a sudden everything shifted, right? Whereas in Modern Warfare 2 2022, because it's a reboot of that franchise, of the original trilogy, everybody knew that that was going to happen, right? It's Modern Warfare 2, you can't make another Modern Warfare 2 and not have a Shepard's Betrayal. So everybody was expecting it, so all the surprise that was part of the classic betrayal, gone out the window. And because the devs and the writers couldn't do like a one-to-one -one translation of the original one, otherwise, again, what's the point? It just sucked in comparison. The whole Modern Warfare reboot trilogy, the story, like it has some good elements, but overall it just feels like an uncanny valley version of the original Modern Warfare trilogy because it takes the bones and some of the core foundations of the original story and builds on it in just wrong ways. And that's what would happen to Halo. You know what? A great place to look closer to home is the Halo TV show. That was in a completely different universe that would be the same as Halo getting rebooted. And I mean, we saw what happened with that garbage, right? Like, they take plot points and elements of the existing Halo universe and they put spins on it. Spins that aren't anywhere near as good as anything that Bungie, and in some places 343 as well, did with them originally. And that's why I hate the idea so much of a Halo reboot. Everything that 343, but for me and many others, most importantly, Bungie did for Halo. Bungie! With Halo 1, 2, 3, ODST, Reach, would just be thrown out. All that stuff. And I don't know about you guys, but being honest, for me, the glue that kind of holds modern Halo together throughout all of the bad times, all of the botch launches, awful stories, yada, yada, yada. Is Bungie's games, right? My love for Bungie's games is what keeps me with this franchise. I love some of 343 stuff, as I've made very clear in videos before, but Bungie stuff to me is the glue that holds this franchise together. It's the kind of, I don't know, the concrete that keeps the house built. All those memories that I and many, many others have of the Bungie games, of the Bungie stories, and all the stuff that happened in those games would just be thrown out and would be irrelevant. And if they were brought back, they'd be retold in a new writer's style that you know, like even if it's done really well, wouldn't be the same as how Bungie did it or how 343 did it. And when I say everything would be thrown out, I mean literally everything. Every game story, Halo Legends, every book, every comic, literally everything would be thrown out and they would start from absolute scratch again. And then like with Star Wars, for example, they'd maybe every now and then they'd pick a little bit out of the old canon and bring it back. And a lot of the time it wouldn't be as good as the original canon because somebody who didn't create it would be writing it. So it wouldn't be their story. So they wouldn't be able to put, well, they would put their mark on it, but it would kind of overshadow the meaning of that story element. I, I just, oh, I, there are so many things that I could talk about with this. I don't want to babble on forever because I, I get really kind of <laughs> babbly, so to speak, and I go off topic a lot, but I, I genuinely cannot put into words how much of a terrible idea rebooting Halo is. And I felt like I had to make this video just in case there's a small chance that it is being planned at 343 or Xbox or whatever. And it's, there's a small chance that this could happen. I needed to make a video voicing my absolute disdain for such an idea and talking about why it's so bad. I just, it worries me that people like Ryan are talking about this. This isn't just some random Twitter egg. This is somebody with a long history of very legitimate sources and also just being in the industry for a long time. The guy's reputable. He's trustworthy, right? So 
maybe I'm barking at the wrong tree here and all of this is just him saying, oh, this might happen. But when it comes from someone like Ryan, I, I don't know. I, I just feel like there might be something else there and I really strongly hope not. The absolute last thing Halo needs is for everything to be rebooted. The idea of full reboot for Halo is like saying, oh, you've got a small little cut on your hand there. Just there, I'll go and get a plaster. And then some guy coming over and be like, no, 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 don't worry, you don't need a plaster. Let me get a hatchet and hack your torso off to fix that cut on your hand. Hey, Paul! Ah! That's what it feels like. It's literally, I, I can't, it's like having a broken window on a, on a tower block and just demolishing the entire tower block instead of fixing the broken window. I don't know how many more an analogies I can come up with to make it seem as stupid as it is, but my God, I just seriously hope that this doesn't happen because my love of Halo and many, many other people's loves of Halo will just go out the window if this happens. If you tear away and destroy all of the old elements of Halo, and also new elements that are keeping people attached. Like, Infinite, I've voiced my issues with Infinite many times, but I played the campaign again the other day, and you know what? It wasn't perfect, but I still really enjoyed it. That legendary ending, dude. Offensive bias. I, I, right, I shit you not, I still get chills down my back just talking about and thinking about that legendary ending. I literally just did. And all of that, from the, from the new games, and all of the stuff that we love about Bungie's games and their stories would just be trashed. Come out the window, thrown out, trashed completely. And I, do I, you know what? I can leave the video there. I don't need to explain why that's an awful idea. If this is even being contemplated at Xbox and 343, if any of the higher ups watch this video, which I doubt, but if they do, for the love of God, do not reboot Halo, right? I, I seriously hope that this video is just me Blurring up on something that doesn't matter and that doesn't mean anything, but I feel like with how Halo has been the last decade plus you always have to err on the side of caution with this kind of stuff because I mean there are many things that Halo has done in the last like god knows 10 years that uh, When you first say them out loud seem a bit funny and like a joke and then a year or two down the line It's like oh shit. Hang on. That's actually happening um, Locking colors behind the paywall anybody <laughs> so yeah, uh, just a quick one new law video coming uh, Saturday or Sunday, so look out for that one, make sure you sub, leave a like, and also let me know in the comments what you think about this, I, to be honest I can predict what you're going to say, I can predict what all of you are going to say, but leave your thoughts on this absurd idea down in the comments, and uh, yeah, I'm going to run a video out here, thank you all for watching, sorry about the lack of editing in this one, but I just had to get a video out ASAP, just, I don't know, venting, I, I like I like venting in videos sometimes, and this is one of those videos, let's run a video out, thank you for watching, I love you all, I appreciate all of you, and I'll catch you in the next little video, Saturday or Sunday, see you in a bit.